Sometimes, a single image can capture more than pages of text ever could. Throughout history, certain photographs have frozen moments in time, offering a glimpse into emotions, struggles, triumphs, and tragedies that define our past. These images go beyond mere visuals. They're windows into moments that shaped lives and reshaped our world. In this video, we're diving into some of the most powerful historical photographs ever taken. Pictures that don't just show history, they tell stories that words alone cannot capture. Join us as we take a look at some of the most iconic and impactful images in history that can't be described with just simple words. Number 1. Tarred and Feathered One of the most unforgettable images from pre-revolutionary America shows the shocking punishment of being tarred and feathered. Picture this. A loyalist tax collector, held down by an angry crowd, stripped of his shirt and dignity, covered in hot, sticky pine tar, and then showered with feathers until he looked like a plucked, oversized chicken. It wasn't just punishment, it was humiliation, and for those brave enough to oppose the Patriots' anti-British stance, it was a real and terrifying threat. This punishment wasn't meant to kill, but it hurt. A lot. The heated pine tar blistered the skin, and the feathers, plastered on top, created a sticky, painful coating. These victims weren't left to wallow in shame privately, either. They were carted through town, paraded for all to see, as the crowd jeered, laughed, and spat insults. Imagine the horror of enduring such a spectacle while neighbors, close friends, and enemies alike watched and laughed. The Sons of Liberty, a group of radical patriots, made tarring and feathering a weapon of fear. Officials who dared enforce British taxation laws often found themselves at the mercy of mobs ready to punish. In 1774, John Malcolm, a customs officer and loyalist, got the worst of it. He was dragged from his home, tarred, feathered, and beaten as the crowd paraded him through Boston. His flesh was so burned that doctors later said it peeled off in stakes. John survived, but the scars would forever remind him, and anyone thinking of following in his footsteps, of what defying the crowd could cost. Despite its brutality, tarring and feathering became symbolic, a rallying cry against British control. And though disturbing, this image of mob justice reveals the fierce passion driving the American Revolution where the line between patriotism and anarchy blurred with each splash of tar. Number 2. The X-Ray Technician's Damaged Hand It's quite normal to marvel at science's breakthroughs, but in 1900, few were prepared for the hidden dangers that came with them. Take the case of X-Ray technicians who, every morning, calibrated their machines by X-Raying their own hands. No one knew the severe harm they were exposing themselves to. Back then, the thrill of new technology made people eager to experiment, and these technicians unknowingly were sacrificing their hands for this new frontier. Discovered just five years earlier by Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen, X-rays were a sensation. Röntgen himself named them X for the unknown and chose not to patent his findings, believing in their benefit for society. Little did people realize that daily exposure to these invisible rays was corrosive, leading to burns, tumors, and often amputation. In fact, X-ray machines became so popular that you could even purchase a kit to use at home, just for fun. But this fun quickly turned into horror as cancer cases surged and technicians were left with hands scarred and damaged beyond repair. Today, those early X-rays stand as a cautionary tale, a reminder that innovation, while exciting, sometimes demands a toll. It's a story of progress with a heavy price, etched in bone and scar. Number 3. Before Penicillin Well, today there's almost an antibiotic for everything, from acne to serious infections. But imagine a time when the smallest cut could be a death sentence. Before antibiotics, life was a dangerous game of chance. Infections weren't just an inconvenience, they were a serious, often fatal threat. 
something as simple as a paper cut or a cough, could spiral into a life-threatening infection with no real cure in sight. Back then, tuberculosis wasn't just a word in history books. It was a widespread, dreaded killer. For many, treatment was fresh air in a sanatorium and a prayer. Childbirth? Well, it claimed the lives of countless mothers and infants. Surgeries were even riskier. Without antibiotics, any incision could turn lethal. A simple illness we shrug off now could spiral into a deadly infection, with nothing but outdated treatments to hold it back. Today, scientists warn us of superbugs that could take us back to this frightening era. Resistant bacteria are growing stronger, and if they outpace our antibiotics, we could find ourselves facing infections as deadly as they were before penicillin. This image shows just how far we've come in the fight against infectious diseases and serves as a reminder to never take modern medicine for granted. Number 4. Fall Bile. The German Guillotine. If you think the guillotine was solely a French affair, think again. Germany had its own brutal counterpart, the Fall Bile, or Falling Axe. While the French guillotine is infamous for its towering wooden frame, the fall bile was shorter, made largely of metal, and was brutally efficient. Used extensively during the Nazi regime, this device became a symbol of fear and swift, merciless justice. Unlike its French cousin, the fall bile had a design focused solely on function over spectacle. Its compact size allowed it to be hidden indoors, making it a chilling tool for quiet, behind-closed-doors executions. Two of these historic machines are preserved at the Strafvollzugs Museum in Ludwigsburg, Germany. One, originating from Karlsruhe Rastatt, and another from Berlin's Lehrterstrasse, silently testify to the dark history they once served. During World War II, the Fallbeil was infamously used to execute political prisoners and those deemed enemies of the Nazi state. Thousands met their end beneath its cold, unforgiving blade. This grim machine may lack the dramatic presence of the French guillotine, but its impact was no less haunting. It reminds us of a time when justice was swift, unforgiving, and utterly terrifying. Number 5. The Coal Miner After his shift Well, we all get tired. We clock out, drag ourselves home, and maybe complain a little. But few of us have seen exhaustion quite like that of a coal miner at the end of his shift. Captured in 1958 in Gelsenkirchen, Germany, this image by photographer Max Schaler shows a man covered head to toe in coal dust, lined up and waiting for his turn in the communal shower. It's not just dirt, it's a layer of labor, hours of back-breaking work deep underground. You can almost feel the weight of the day on his shoulders. The dirt, the sweat, the grime. It's all a part of his uniform, and it tells a story. The dark, smudged face and tired eyes are a testament to the brutal grind these men endured every day. There's no sign of complaint, just quiet resilience. For coal miners, this was a life and a livelihood, a job that kept the lights on for everyone else. This image reminds us of the hidden sacrifices behind modern comforts. It's a glimpse into a world of hard work, camaraderie, and grit. A nod to the people who toil in the shadows so that the rest of us can shine. It's a reminder to appreciate and acknowledge the hard work and sacrifices of those who often go unnoticed in society, despite their crucial role in keeping our world running. Number 6. Catherine Stinson In today's so-called digital world, Everyone has the same rights, no matter if you are a man or a woman. But in the early 1900s, things weren't so simple, especially in aviation. Meet Catherine Stinson, a fearless woman who shattered barriers in the skies long before women were even expected to dream that high. Known as the Flying Schoolgirl, Stinson was one of America's first female aviators, a title that meant she had to prove herself over and over again in a field dominated by men. At just 21, Stinson earned her pilot's certificate, becoming only the fourth woman in the U.S. to do so. But that was only the beginning. 
She dazzled crowds with daring aerobatic stunts, including loops and night flights, tricks that very few had the courage or the skill to attempt. She was the first woman to fly for the U.S. mail service, carrying letters through turbulent skies, and took her talent internationally, being the first female pilot to fly in Japan and Canada. Stinson didn't just make her mark in the air, she also played a crucial role in building the foundations of aviation. Her legacy inspired countless others, including her brothers, who went on to establish the Stinson Aircraft Company. A true pioneer, Catherine Stinson's story is a reminder that when determination meets passion, even the sky isn't the limit. Number 7. Largest Roman Mosaic in Turkey Unless you're a well-versed traveler of the world, you may not be familiar with the Hotel Antakya in Turkey. The building was completed this year, boasting stunning prefabricated rooms, a restaurant, a lounge, and all the amenities of a five-star hotel. But the hotel's most astounding feature isn't just its modern luxuries, it's the breathtaking Roman-era mosaic uncovered right beneath it, now the largest ever found in Anatolia. This mosaic, covering an unbelievable 6,500 square feet, was revealed during excavation work in the ancient town of Sadogora, modern-day Incesu. Archaeologists first discovered traces of it in 2010, but legal constraints halted progress until 2020. When they finally resumed, what they found went beyond anyone's expectations. What began as a small uncovering quickly expanded into an entire Roman villa, revealing a grand residence with 33 rooms, all decorated with intricate mosaic floors. Professor Can Erpek, the site's lead archaeologist, speculates that this enormous structure may have been an imperial villa, possibly belonging to regional governors or even rulers. With plans to continue excavation, Erpek believes there's more of this ancient palace waiting to be discovered, extending our glimpse into a Roman world of wealth, beauty, and extraordinary craftsmanship hidden beneath Turkey's modern landscape. Number 8. Mohammed and Samir Friendship is one of the most resilient forces in the world, and the story of Mohammed and Samir proves just that. In 1889, Damascus, these two friends, despite having every reason to struggle, formed a bond that turned their individual challenges into shared strength. Muhammad was blind, while Samir, a Christian dwarf, was paralyzed. But instead of letting their disabilities isolate them, they found in each other a way to live with dignity and purpose. Muhammad became Samir's eyes, guiding him through the bustling streets of Damascus, while Samir, perched on his friend's shoulder, helped steer their journey. Together, they navigated life's obstacles. This friendship was more than just mutual support. It symbolized an interfaith harmony that thrived despite a time and place where religious tensions could easily have kept them apart. Under the Ottoman Empire's millet system, religious communities like Muslims and Christians coexist within a broad legal framework. Muhammad and Samir showed the world that respect, resilience, and love can build bridges where differences might otherwise divide. Their photograph captures more than friendship. It's a testament to human strength, the necessity of community, and the beauty of solidarity. Long before modern welfare, Muhammad and Samir showed us that sometimes all we need is a friend to fly us to Istanbul and beyond. Friendship knows no boundaries. And in the end, as Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu wisely said, God is not a Christian. All of us belong to God. Number 9. Ancient Mayan Zoomorphic Stone You must all have heard of the Mayans, one of the most advanced ancient civilizations, famous for their pyramids, calendars, and mysterious disappearances. But did you know they also carved animals into stone in a way that still baffles archaeologists? These aren't just any carvings, they're zoomorphic stones, ancient rocks from the Mayan classic period, around 250 to 900 CE, featuring creatures that held deep meaning in Mayan culture. The Mayans believed animals weren't merely part of nature, they were powerful symbols. Each animal represented traits or spirits that influenced daily life. 
The carvings on these stones weren't random doodles. They were intentional, depicting sacred creatures like jaguars, serpents, and eagles. These creatures were seen as guides, protectors, and symbols of strength, wisdom, or mystery, woven into Mayan mythology and spiritual beliefs. The artistry on these stones is breathtaking. Even after centuries, you can still see the intricate detail etched into each piece, showcasing the skill of the Mayan craftsmen. Number 10. The Biggest Sea Bass Ever Caught When it comes to fish, most people can only dream of catching a big one. But for John T. Perkins and Edward Llewellyn, that dream came true. And then some. Back in the early 1900s, these men weren't reeling in the usual catch. Off the coast of Catalina Island, California, they managed to snag a true monster of the sea, a 425-pound giant sea bass. This wasn't just any fish, it was a record-breaking catch, a behemoth that would become the stuff of legend. In 1903, Llewellyn made waves with his prize, reeling in this black sea bass in a mere 41 minutes, a feat that demanded both strength and skill. Perkins followed in 1905, equally capturing the attention of fishermen everywhere. These sea bass were more than just trophies. They were apex predators, the kings of California's waters, now captured and held aloft by two proud fishermen. Back then, fishing wasn't just about sport. It was about braving the wild, facing the unknown, and hoping to bring home a tale no one would believe without seeing. While the giant sea bass population would later suffer from overfishing, these early catches remind us of an era when the ocean's mysteries were deep, unpredictable, and sometimes as big as a small boat. Now, these are just some of the many fascinating historical pictures that give us a glimpse into the past, but there are countless more waiting to be discovered. Each one captures a moment frozen in time, telling a unique story that can't be fully captured in words. They remind us of our shared humanity, our resilience, and the beauty that exists within our world. We hope this video has sparked your curiosity and inspired you to delve deeper into history through the lens of these incredible photographs. And as we always say, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more mind-blowing content just like this.